Hey! I wish I could sit here and tell you that I was just trying to film from a new fun location and that, you know, I spend a lot of time on my hair and that the reason I'm on this couch isn't because I'm having incredible cramps and I'm freezing to death. Um, but, uh, no, that's, it's pretty much that reason. So, and I, I spent no time on my appearance, really. So, hey! <laughs> but I did want to do a Q&A video even though I'm feeling like I want to curl up into a ball and die behind a dumpster. So let's get into it. I'm pulling my questions from Ask FM today. I've got them all on my computer right here. This case is from Amazon in case you give a fuck. But let's get into the video. Do you think it's overreacting if I'm bothered that my ex is becoming friends with his ex? Yeah. Short answer, yeah. Just. A side note, this Q&A is going to be very to the point because I'm in like that one day of your period where I don't give a fuck about anyone's feelings, so let's be real honest here. Yeah, it's a little bit of an overreaction because you guys are exes and you no longer have a claim over anything that he does. You know, before when you were dating, you could say, you know, that makes me a little uncomfortable and he would have to take your feelings into account because that's a relationship and that's what you do. He's your ex, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. I would suggest trying to move on. If you created your own religion, what would it contain? Um, I think probably just like a lot of science. A lot of science and absolutely no room for someone using the religion to, um, I guess, cater to their hateful, bigoted ways. Like, I fucking hate it when people like try to use the Bible to be like, and that's why I hate gays, you know, or like the Westboro Baptist Church claiming that they are at all godly. It's like, fuck off, honestly. You're a piece of shit, and uh, you should die in a hellfire. So, that would be my religion. It would just be, like, against bigots. Because, you know what, I, I really do think that we need a new plague. A new plague that really, I'm, I'm itching a mosquito bite right now, <laughs> so if I'm in a weird position, it's because my ankle is covered. I have literally eight mosquito bites on my ankle and my foot, and I know I shouldn't be itching it, but I swear to God, this feels better than sex. It is my new favorite feeling in the entire world, just itching this mosquito bite. Oh my God. I can't even remember what I was saying. Oh, we need a new plague. There's too many stupid people on the planet. Um... There's so many people who, I, like, I know that this is something like, oh, you shouldn't say that, you shouldn't talk about people dying, but, like, there's so many stupid people in the world. Like, there really is. There's people who think that the world is flat. Guess what? It's not. I slept with a guy after he said he didn't want to be with me. Now he's kissing other girls in front of me on purpose. What do you think this means? What should I do? Don't do anything, because he basically was straightforward with you and told you that he didn't want anything specifically with you. He pretty much just wanted to bang, you did that, and you can't go into these things thinking that you're going to change somebody. As I said in a previous question and many other Q&As, you can't control anyone's behavior ever. You can't. And this person was upfront with you with their intentions, and that's pretty admirable. Because a lot of people could have been in that position and said something like, Hey, I can't wait to be with you, but let's have sex first, and then just like throw you away like trash. This person was upfront and honest, they didn't want anything, you still chose to sleep with them. You can't go into these situations thinking, oh, I'll make them want me, because you can't. Do you hate bras? Would you wear one if you didn't have to? One, I don't have to do anything. Two, I don't hate bras, because I'm flat chested, I enjoy having some slight curvature on my upper half, and bras allow me to do that. Um, did you already film your next toy haul? When can we expect to see it? Haven't filmed it yet, the toys haven't gotten here yet. I don't know if they're going to take longer to get here because there is like a Canada Post strike pending or something, so mail in Canada is going to be shit for a while, I'm thinking. Um, which just, P.S., may have an effect on subscription boxes, hauls, uh, any reviews of things that I get in the mail. If you had one wish, not for yourself, but for humanity or society, what would it be? Um, for a new plague? Actually, okay, I think about this all of the time. I wish that there was, like, a way to get all people who raped a bunch of people, and, like, not people who are accused of this, but people who have done it, and not just people who are, like, incarcerated, but people who just have done this and living in society. So people who have, like, raped a bunch of people, murdered a bunch of people, you know, people who are, like, the scum of society, as well as everybody in, like, the Westboro Baptist Church, as well as, like, um, extremists and terrorists, like, 
I wish that there was a way to not like transfer them to an island or something, but for them to just disappear off the planet. Like not even like a plague or something, but just like they're no longer here. Not that they never existed, but they're just gone now. Can you imagine, first of all, how much less of our tax money would be spent on these people who are in prison. Also, you would have irrefutable proof that the people who are in prison who are accused of raping and murdering people, if they're left behind, guess what? They're fucking innocent. Enjoy your freedom now. Awesome, you know? Like, <laughs> can you imagine how much less of our tax money would be spent on that shit? How much more resources we would have? Because you, you can absolutely be assured that there are millions of people just free in the world who are doing horrible, shitty, shitty things and they're eating all of our food, and they're breathing all of our air. I'm not necessarily in favor of the death penalty, but like, I'm totally in favor of like horrible people just disappearing. And again, not die, but poof, disappear. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. So thanks for watching this disaster of a video, and um, I will see you later. I feel a little better. Maybe like I got some of my bad, negative, crampy energy out, and that kind of made my body go like, <gasps> Maybe I can venture out and go get soup. Soup is the only thing that makes me feel better, P.S., when I'm on my period. That's what I eat whenever I'm sick, whenever I'm cranky. Like, soup just heals my soul. So, maybe I'll go get some of that since we don't have any in my house because I haven't gotten groceries in forever. So, I'm rambling. Goodbye. <laughs>